One of the most common questions I get asked is whenever I do a, a word bearer space marine and I use my candy red paint scheme uh, I get loads of questions um, which is awesome I really appreciate it but it's very repetitive it's pretty much the same question um, maybe nine times out of ten um, how do you get that colour well what I thought I'd do is I'd put together um, a little video I'll go through what paints I use what equipment I use um, and the technique um, that I use to, to achieve that finish. Now I'm not an artistic person by any stretch. The only reason why I've been able to develop this paint job uh, is by taking advice from some of my mates. If you look in the details below you'll be able to find links to their Instagram accounts. Check them out, they've got some cracking stuff. Cheers. Okay so the intention is I'm going to paint up five more word bearers mainly because I want to fill out one tactical squad out to a unit of 15. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go through the materials that I use. So I undercoat in Chaos Black, just use the rattle can from Games Workshop. Once, the, once that's dry I'll give it a good old coating of dry brush, lash, dry brush lead belcher um, you want it to be quite patchy because once the lead belch is clear sorry dry and you actually apply the Tamiya clear red you get a really nice texture um, and it gives the that Tamiya clear red a uh, bit of depth so I use I'm probably going to be using a medium dry brush again this is GW however if you haven't really got any patience you want to crack on you can use a, a large dry brush now when it comes to the airbrushing I found it a lot easier if um, this also ties into when you actually base the model um, I actually use uh, I drill the foot and use a paper clip so it gives me something to, to hold on to and allows me to get a good well just basically an uninterrupted coverage when I'm using the airbrush of the model so I just got a pack of 10 one mil drill bits from eBay for I think two quid or something um, so this will obviously really help when it comes to to actually airbrush in the model okay right then there we are it's it is that simple it's a case of undercoat in chaos black lead belcher dry brush lead belcher let it dry, get a nice bit of texture on there um, and then hit it with that candy red, Tamiya clear red sorry um, that is the the best way to, it, that's you know to my personal opinion the best way to achieve a, an awesome looking Thousand Suns army I mean word bearers army <laughs> they're word bearers, they're word bearers um, yeah, um, so yeah there's your answer um, have a crack at it, um, let me know how you get on Cheers. Uh, one thing I will say about using uh, Tamiya Clear Red, uh, it's got a warning label on it um, and there's a reason for that. If you decide to use it and you don't wear a face mask, um, I got a really bad uh, throat. Um, it is pretty, that's, that was even with um, the window open here in the workshop. Um, so yeah, protect your lungs, protect your throat. Don't get cancer, don't die. Uh, that's it, you know, honestly, straight up, three line whip, make sure, um, you know, you, you do wear a, a, a face mask. Because, um, yeah, it's it's not pleasant. It's not going to kill you straight away, but it probably will in later life. Um, I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, look after yourself.